authenticity. Listen, you could say what you want about the guy. Um, there's a lot you could say about the guy. He was who he was. He says he was who he says, and he says who he was. Um, there was nothing non-authentic about uh, Gotti. Um, if there was a, a six, I would give it. Um, he didn't pretend that who he wasn't, and um, might have been his downfall in other areas, which I'll get into. But in authenticity, I give him a big fat five. Vision, I give him a two. Okay, now in 1986, it was a transitional year for America. Obviously, the internet was obviously not nowhere near out yet, but a lot of stuff was happening. There was a big construction boom, um, not just in New York, but in other cities outside of the city. Um, the economy was starting to. I know 87. There was a stock market crash, and whenever there's a crash and there's fraud. Um, actually gives the opportunity to, for infiltration by organized crime groups to do different stuff to actually gain better uh, foothold. When there's a super crash or when things are going super well, those are two times to get in, not in the middle, but in either extreme. And then in the vision, stayed a, away from a lot of the higher end white collar crime. Um, at the at, at that time, um, again, could have infiltrated or continue to infiltrate because he had the manpower Um the uh what is it like again like the beef trade he kind of lost some of that the cement trade got away from that a little bit and although castellano's son stayed in it and tony salerno was off the street he didn't maintain it so not just about maintaining and managing but what did cause cause nostra look like for the next 20 years right so he just didn't have that vision to take the borgata to that next level he was more of a manager than a leader in this department achievement listen i mean respectfully his biggest achievement was killing paul castellano that was a ballsy move um it was a a serious move it was a calculated move um for the most part you know unfortunately he lost frank the chico he lost you know bobby Borrello later on uh but for the most part himself his person remained un unscathed so in terms of achievement i i don't see i can't give him a high score here um, when he interviewed Sammy, we kind of went through some of the best decisions they made. What were some of the things that they'd done? What are the what are the um, successes that they had? And although they had a lot of small wins and they maintained where the Borgata was and maybe put more money in Capo's pockets and maybe put more money into soldiers' pockets, um, he didn't work to increase their livelihood because that's what a true leader does. And I give him a two in achievement. Ownership. Now, ownership. Now, now listen. At the end, standing up and taking life on the chin, you can't get more ownership than that. But as a leader, you're not yourself. You're the organization. So he kind of hurt the organization through his management style. And here's what I mean. By having the 26 capos come to the Raven every week to drop off their envelope or, or to pay homage to him, that puts you on the radar screen for law enforcement. There were capos, and I'm quoting Sammy on this or paraphrasing Sammy, there were capos that didn't even know it was an organized crime. They now have their license plate. They now have their face. They now have their name. What do they do? They go back and follow them back, now follow their crews, and it puts the whole Borgata at risk. And remember, this is supposed to be a secret society. Um, so I give them a 2.5 for ownership. Finally, collaboration, okay? Now, I'll give you a positive and why I kind of came in the middle of this. I'll give you the positive and I'll give you the negative. The positive is um, if you were, again, a soldier on the street, I believe you kicked up less, hence making more money. If you were a capo, granted, you had to show, there every, show up every week and have uh, exposure to law enforcement, but I believe the expectations of what you had to give were less. Great. Put more, more money in my pocket. No problem. But where he fell dramatically short is collaborating externally. Remember, when you have an underboss, that's kind of the COO. They run the daily operations of your organization. When you're the uh, capo di tutto capi, or you're the boss, you have to deal with external organizations. Again, the other four families. Now, granted, he might have been good with Messino. He hated Persco. Chin hated him. Um, and I know Casto and, and, and Amuso did not have any love lost for him as well. So rather than kind of extend an olive branch out to those guys and work to collaborate externally to fortify the Brigada, because if you look, where did Gotti's hits come from? Where did his um, detractors come from? Where were they hit from outside of the